Hello and welcome back here to the channel for the first ever look at the Team Evil Rabbit Drift Playground here on Assetto Corsa. So we're going to get into it. First looks of the alpha version of it. As you can see, there is massive amounts of roads, massive amounts of tracks, including tandem course. So we're going to get into this. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all that you found in the description box below. So we are here in the first ever look at the Evil Rabbit Drift Playground here on Assetto Corsa. A big thank you to Hexer for making what I asked him. I was like, I want a drift course with everything in it. Here's what I have an idea for. Run with it. And he has come up with this. And I cannot fathom what this is in just its alpha stage. This is just the alpha version of it. This is not the fully completed version. This is just a glimpse and a first look at this massive playground with 13 miles or, you know, 22 kilometers worth of driving roads and courses here on a set of Corsa. So we're going to take the first look at it. Go take a look at some of the courses and uh, get full impressions on it. First impressions. This thing looks stunning. So we have our main pit area. Then we go into our first our first course, which is a really nice, you know, smooth flowing course with a little bit of uh, angle and a little bit of elevation changes. Kind of more dedicated to, I guess it would say, a little bit higher of a horsepower car. But you could run it on street cars if you really, you know, stretched out the gears, maybe left foot brakes a little bit, things of that nature, you know. He's done an amazing job with the scenery. It's gorgeous looking at this, you know, track and everything of that nature. So this is just the first of many tracks that are in this massive playground and massive amounts of roads. So it's definitely incredible to have everything built in one, a one-stop shop for drifters. A true drifter's paradise, if you would say. We're gonna go into fifth and see. We can do this thing in fifth. We are in the HDC 350Z. What better car to bring out for a Hexer track than an HDC car? Because you know Hexer and then put on HDC. So once again, I cannot thank Hexer enough for what he's doing with this. I gave him an idea and told him to run with it. And this is what we have. It is a massive playground of drifting and fun and sheer just enjoyment. You can get lost in this track for hours and you know come back and do other things and things of that nature so we have you know a, a main flow course which is you know an amazing course in itself and then we go into where we can continue to drive in other directions so we're gonna go up the road here and there's just some beautiful roads some beautiful driving roads and things it shortens up a lot and some nice just flowing cruising drifting roads if you want to cruise with friends or just drift some like you know backwoods back road style roads there's you know 13 miles worth of driving road on this track as it sits right now there's a tree right there you can uh, do a little wall tap on there if you want there's lighting throughout the track so this track will be able to be driven at night as well or on a server with day and night transitions just the sheer flowness of this track is just so much fun and as you can see we're coming around you know just beautiful scenery rock faces and everything there's another track right there as you can see which we get to later on down the road you can actually link to it through that pit section there is other roads you can get to but we're just enjoying these back roads here just drifting through this massive windy back roads he did tell me something that this road is actually based off of a road he has in real life and it's just incredible it's super essy super fun i think he said he's gonna add some more guardrails and fences and things of that nature but it's definitely an amazing world that he is creating and you know i i still can't get over what he's done with just what an idea that i gave him and it's it's slowly slowly but surely becoming 
the drifters paradise that I hoped it would be. So make sure you guys, if you want to get some exclusive tracks and things of Hexer, make sure you join his Patreon, which I will leave down in the description box below. He does release VIP tracks and things of that nature to his Patreons. And as you can see, this is just some of his capabilities. And this is not even anywhere near done. This is just alpha version. This is not even full done, fully rendered. There's still textures and things he wants to change and add and things of that nature. So we're just ripping these back roads and moving through this all around the water and all around the lake. And as you can see, we have another track coming up here as well. So there's multiple tracks to go to, multiple places you can actually go and drift on from smallish, smaller tracks to smallish tracks to full blown out flow tracks to a tandem course up in the hills. So we're going to get to mostly all of that today. But this is your first look at what is to come here with Hexer and myself and everything. It's just incredible. So we're getting into the little flow track, which I basically sent him a drawing and said, hey, this is kind of what I want. And this is what he came up with. I did a drawing and he mimicked my drawing basically to the T. And I did it on paints. And it's a really nice, small, flowy little tandem track for streetcars and things of that nature or if you're just learning drifting you can come out here and get on a nice little flow track and have some fun with your friends get in tandems get doors you don't need a high power car to do this track we are in a bit of a high power car but if you notice i'm pedaling this we're at about a you know a 700 horsepower 350 but you don't need that with this little flow track it's definitely a fun track we're gonna flip it around backwards because the track does flow both ways and it's just incredible that I sent him a little drawing of a little bit of a layout that I thought would look cool. He made it and we're out of gas. That's not good. We need to make sure we have plenty of gas in the car to get around this map. So we're going to slowly bring ourselves back over to pit section and continue this road because well, we don't want to run out of gas in the middle of this road because that would be terrible. Fuel consumption has to be turned off on servers so we don't run out of gas. I say we're going to go slowly, but we're in a, another nice, sweet section of road that continues back around, and this will bring us back around to the main section, the main parking lot where everything starts, which is right here. So if you wanted to backtrack to that small flow track, you could just go this way and hit up that track. So, there is one other track we have to go to, but we're going to respawn back to pits because we, we, we need some gas. There's two tracks actually we can go to, so we're going to go back to pits. So we're going to go back to one of the other tracks that are in here that has a lot of elevation changes and is a really fun track. So instead of going left like we did to go to the other one, we go straight. And like I said, there's just tons of road, tons of places to get sideways, and tons of places to have fun. And I'm just having a blast exploring these roads. You can do tandems on these roads with friends. You can cruise or do anything you want like that. Oh, a little bit of a hip there. Definitely need to uh, be mindful of that because that'll actually catch you. So we come over to this bridge, which you can actually take some beautiful pictures and things on nature get across this little abandoned bridge that is going to take us to another course in this world. So we're going to hit up this course and we just see we hop right into another course which is barriered off and it's kind of a bigger little flow course but it has a lot of really cool elevation changes and stuff of that nature. Got walls, fences, definitely looks like maybe like an old abandoned racetrack you could say. You get a train coming in this little downhill section with a bunch of friends, it's gonna be times, you know, insane fun times because it's just gonna be, you know, incredible to do this stuff with everybody. And you know, I'm kind of at a loss for words after actually driving this. So this is actually my first time on this rendering. I did drive a pre-alpha version of it which had the courses on it but it looked nothing like this. This just looks absolutely 
amazing and it's incredible and I can't thank Hexer enough for the work he's putting into this to make a dream that I had a reality and it's it's by far insane so there's one other track that is in the world so far so we're gonna head back to pits my spawn to pits button does not work we're gonna go back to pits and we're gonna head to the final track for today's episode and that is coming back this way instead of going right to the small little street track you come up this way of course you know we're gonna be drifting all of these because why would you drive this without drifting well and we gotta have our lights on because neons and cool so we're gonna throw it up this way kick it up Ooh, we got this. Nope, we don't got this. We're uh, ooh, way off sideways in the dirt. Definitely need to get used to these roads. But once you get a tackle of these roads, you will just be able to throw down. So it's definitely, like I said, a place that does not get boring at all. So now we go to this. This was the newest thing I was talking to Hexer about. And that is a true tandem course or FD style course with starting boxes and clipping zones and everything of that nature. So we're gonna come into the start. And uh, well, we're gonna go full send. Oh, not that way. We should've went the other way. Go into an outer zone. Kick it in. Come on into an inner zone. Flick it back out to an outer zone. Kind of ride the wall a little bit. First run on this track, another inner zone, a quick flick to an outer box zone, into an inner clip as close as you can, and finish it off. A very nice, smooth, flowing tandem track that you can do lead and chase style runs. It's definitely a fun little track. It's small enough to run with street cars, but fast enough to run with powered cars. So we're gonna run this this time, we're actually gonna kick it that way. Kick it in. Should have been way closer to that wall. Kick it this way. Definitely need to get used to this course, but it is a kind of a, if you guys know what this course is kind of based off of, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'm very curious to know and out. Definitely an amazing course. Can't thank Hexer enough. This is your first look at the Evil Rabbit Playground. So let me know what you guys think of it. The hype is definitely real. Like I said, it's still in rendering phases. It's not anywhere near complete. It's definitely gonna get better. So make sure you follow me on all social media, all of which are found in the description box below. Make sure you join Hexer's Patreon if you guys wanna get some exclusive tracks and things of that nature. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.